Okay, we're going to pick up a step number seven. Create and record an auto-close macro that runs each time you close the document. So let's go up to the Developer tab, all the way over to the left for Record Macro. We're naming it Auto-Close. In the store in, we're changing it to 10-2 document. And in the description, removes the watermark when the document is closed. This time we're just pressing OK. We're not assigning it a shortcut, so let's go ahead and press OK. My little record is on my cursor now. You can see that we're recording. <clears throat> so up on the Design tab, in the Watermark drop-down arrow, all the way at the bottom, click Remove Watermark. Let's go back up to the Developer tab and stop recording. So that one was short and sweet, not too much with that one. Okay, let's go back into our watermark. So let's go back into the Design tab, Watermark, and we're going to select this time Draft 1. Okay, so there it is. Save the document as a macro enabled document. So let's go up. We can do a control save or I mean a control S. <coughs> okay. If you cannot save it as a macro, and I'll just show you this part because mine is already saved that way, and I believe yours should be. When you go to save it, make sure it is word enabled template is selected. Okay. okay, so we're going to change our file name, so file save as. We are just leaving the two, but we're adding the words final after it. Make sure it's macro enabled and save. Let's go ahead and close our document. So file close. Yes, save the changes. Okay. Now let's open that file that we just created and see if our macros worked here. So I'm going down to my explorer. And I'm looking for my final. Oh no, did it move it? It moved it to my, I'm sure, my templates. Okay, I found that document. Whew. Once you find it, enable your content. And now what we're going to do is we're going to delete that um, macro that we just created. So under the Developer tab, in the Code group all the way over to the right, <coughs> click the Macros button. So here we should see the auto-close that we created. I'm going to click on it once, make sure it's selected, and press Delete, and yes. I am going to close, and I'm going to save. If prompted to save the changes to the template, select Yes. This concludes Part 2 of the Pause and Practice.